All right, let's continue Mario Wonder. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. I'll, I'll stick with Leech. I'll play, with the exception of the easy mode characters, at least once each character. Um, let me just make sure we're all good. Wait a minute. What's the difference between tick and not tick? Huh? Interesting. Okay, but that doesn't count. That's the mansion. Or does it? Hang on. Why does that- okay, so it's only these stages, why do they not have a t well... Bear in mind I'm still missing seeds, but I couldn't figure out where. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. I guess we get to see this again. Oh, actually, I shouldn't lose drill. I should keep drill. I mean... The only thing I can assume is, like, maybe there's a secret exit, but... Mind you, I wasn't thorough with these early levels. I'm gonna try and go down every pipe. Like, I kind of just ran through this. Or got distracted by the, uh... The thing that happens. Alright, I'm gonna look very thoroughly. So you can get over there! By the way, I saw someone streaming this. Hold on. This is cool, but like, you can actually do this on the fly. Go on, hear this. <laughs> right. It sounds pretty normal. I mean, it sounds normal to me, but... What about... What else have we got? It's got everything. I want to hear German. Germ what does a German flower sound like? Oh. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. I've had- I've had my fun. Wait, there's French, Canada, and French, France. Interesting. I wasn't aware there was a difference. Someone had their flowers in Japanese. That's why I was like, oh, didn't know you could do that. I mean, I doubt I can get in that pipe. Nah, there's no way that's doable. Oh, 
I'm gonna let them sing this time. I'm not gonna attack them. I'm trying to go in every pipe. <laughs> this is great. Oh, I lost it. It's great. This is either going to be a waste of time, or it's going to be... You don't see that every day. It's going to be correct. Can't go in it. Can't go in it. Okay, that's the end. Let's just... You don't see that every day. Doesn't look like there's a difference. Yeah. Nope. Hey. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> okay, hold on. Ah ha ha! Assuming this is anything. This could just be coins. Also, this will make for a nice thumbnail. Big wage. Okay, yep, this is definitely something. Ah, ha ha. Okay, so that's, that explains that. Tick means you've gotten all the exits. It's pretty sneaky. That kind of reminds me of some of the secrets that used to exist in Super Mario World. You had to do that sort of stuff. Uh -huh. Captain Toad. Quite a surprising place to run into someone, huh? I heard there was treasure somewhere around this place, and next thing I knew I was here. Do you think anyone lives on those aisles over there? What's with all the smoke? I mean, <laughs> given how easy it is to get these, ah, uh, that's, that's whatever. Okay, so what was the other stage? Yeah, now it has a tick on it. This one. Ah. Oh. See, I kind of felt like that was supposed to lead somewhere. Okay, well... Oh boy. This stage. <laughs> I love these things though, they're pretty funny. Oh shit. I forgot that's what happened. I thought I could run back. No, it's not that. <laughs> hey, Nick, there. How's it going? I 
see you just caught the tail end of that. Oh shit. I bet it's got to do with the P block. Good. Me too. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I'm doing alright. Just had a couple of annoying things I have to deal with, but otherwise fine. I get the feeling I need to make sure I get all of them. Good job. Oh, okay. Ouija, please. Ouija, please. Surely it's this. But how do I break through that? Or do I need to bring a shell with me? No, see, it doesn't work. Can't go back down the pipe. It has to be through that part. Uh, okay, hang on. I mean, the mole would be able to break through it. Let me see if I can do it without it. Otherwise, I guess I have to bring a shell with me. Somehow? That's not gonna be it. That's a tall order. Given these things, uh... Alright, let's just... Alright, that's what I have to do. Oh. I'll just bring the drill. Bring the drill is probably easier. They're so cute. <laughs> I mean, they got it right. Oh, hold on. Oh, shit. I had it. It's just because they look so happy, that's why. Like, even now, they're, they're just smiling. I might have to go get the drill. I think the drill's probably easier to achieve it. Well, otherwise, I don't know how else I'm going to do this. I couldn't see an item that I could use. <laughs> Kep. 
I kept bouncing on the stupid shells. I couldn't land. Daisy or Peach? What do you mean? Get the girl, get the drill. Get the drill! Get... I can't land. Get the drill. I mean, if you want to call Daisy a drill, or Paige a drill, sure. Maybe an elephant form. <laughs> oh no. Bowser's really Bowser's really into that elephant form. Okay, one more try. I'm gonna go get the drill. If I fail this time. But it just didn't. Oh, this is this is ridiculous. No, I'm getting the drill. Yeah, no, we're getting the drill. Wait, is it even gonna help? No, it's not. Because I can't get under it. How am I supposed to do this? Because <laughs> a drill only works if I can... Unless I can go here, but I don't think it will. Alright, I got nothing to lose in going to go get it. Oh. It did say hard difficulty, so it's no lie. That's all we want. Um, this one. That's a drill stage. <laughs> the only thing is I have to finish the stage. Because you can't just exit. Yeah, good. Sorry, I still got the drill. Oh my god, the elephant form. That's what can break through it. <laughs> I just see the words elephant form, like elephant form. Elephant form. Right, elephant form. It can smack through blocks. Well, I just overcomplicated this. believe I didn't think of the elephant. Alright, All right, 
right, so we're going back to stage one. Because that's the easiest way to get the elephant, quickly. Here we go. Onward and <laughs> it still gets me. I don't know why, I just find it funnier with Luigi. With Mario it seems intentional, with Luigi it just feels like he has no control over it. He's just like, oh my god, what's happening? Like, he would panic as his body shifts into the elephant. Picturing Charlie Day. The voice just transforming into the elephant. I say. Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, it's easier to just do this. That one. Here we go. All right, so all I have to do is just get to the end and then... Use the elephant, I think. Pretty positive. Either way, I have the drill as a plan B. Just gonna not complicate it. I don't need to jump. Jumping is just if I want to do flashy things. I don't want to do flashy things. Keep it simple. Oh shit! Ah! Restart. <laughs> Really? They broke the block to the right, but not the block to the left? Well, I was gonna say I'm not into flashy in the sense of not fucking up, and then, well, you can see what happens. I don't really have to do anything until that that final step where I will have to jump. But here, I don't... Un okay, here. Oh, it broke it that... No, it didn't. It didn't break it that time. Okay, here we go. Up, 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 up. Okay, so it does work. Drill does work. Nice job. Oh shit. Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh no, mistakes are still being made. Oh shit. Go. Okay. Wowie, zowie. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, Colin, how's it going? That's fine. Okay, so where is this gonna take me? Yippee! See, I figured there would be something. Oh man. Springs in the Twilight Forest. Okay, so we do have more stages here. Oh, cool. I love it when games do this. I like this effect. Oh, what a pretty sunset. 
That was my day. Ugh, busy. Had a lot to do today. Wait, what are these things? What the hell is this? Sprung? I don't need to do that. We have a question. What's Vegemite? Say yeast spread. That you use in very fine amounts to spread on toast with butter. Is it good? It's one of those things that's a 50-50. You're either going to like it or you're not. And it's pretty equally distributed. The thing is, when most Americans try it, they make one fatal mistake. And that's that they they treat it like as if it's peanut butter or like a chocolate spread, which it's not. You, you are supposed to be like very, very light on it. It's not something you're supposed to put a lot of it because it's pretty salty. So it's funny to see Americans try and eat it because... They just, uh, go, go for broke and just put a lot of amounts on it. I'm not a fan, but, you know, I've, I've had it properly. It's, it's okay. Oh, not this again. <laughs> You went to town with it on your piece of bread? Oh no, Nikto. Yeah, I mean, it's just very salty. You were getting videos of people trying it, didn't know what it was. Yeah, it's a yeast spread that, uh, though it's popular in Australia, you can also get a different brand in New Zealand and the UK. So it's not just Australians that eat it. I'm trying to think like what the closest comparison for it would be, but I don't think there is one. What a Tim Tans, a chocolate cookie. Those are amazing. It's like two pieces of cookie with a flavor in the middle and then it's dipped in chocolate. A type of chocolate as well. They are extremely popular. Um, and the way they recommend you have it, you do this thing called a Tim Tam Slam, which is you bite either end of the cookie, right? So then you kind of have like uh, the cookie part exposed and then you use the Tim Tam like a straw and just have some hot chocolate. So as you suck your beverage through the Tim Tam, the chocolate just liquefies immediately. <laughs> it's pretty damn good. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna go back. It's a cookie straw? No, not at all. That's just the Tim Tam slime thing. It's just a cookie. It's rectangular in shape, but someone came up with the thing where you bite either end of it and then you just use it like a straw if you want a cool thing. But most people don't do that. It's just a thing people do. It was a TikTok trend before TikTok. Damn, there were extra levels. You want to try it? You can probably find them. They definitely shipped them to America. They're just probably 
pricey because they're popular. But I mean, in Australia we have just different varieties. It's practically three shelves just dedicated to Tim Tam flavors here. Out of all the Australian things to try, that's the thing I would recommend. Like, don't worry about Vegemite. Vegemite's just... It's the shock value if you eat it incorrectly. I would recommend Tim Tams and... There's a beverage... There's like a ginger beer... Ah! A ginger beer made by a company called Bundaberg. That is quite good. That's if you're into your sodas. Is there a specific brand for Tim Tams? Um, just says Tim Tams on the box, and the company is Arnott's, which... I think it's like a, a bird on, on their logo, if I remember correctly. You can probably get that. No, come on, I can get that. I think I'm complicating it. The hippo can just go down there. I think the most common one will be just the basic chocolate ones, but if you can find anything more fancy, it's worth it. If you want something really interesting that is like a different version of what you might be used to. I don't know if you can find them, but um, we have Cheetos here, but a special flavor that's um, cheese and bacon, and they are balls. So they're Cheeto balls. Cheeto brand, you know, the leopard and everything, but it's just they're, they're like Cheetos in the shape of balls and they're flavored like cheese and bacon. Pretty good. <laughs> I think they do other flavors, but it's in the ball form as well. Wow, did I just... Okay. I don't know how on earth I pulled that one off. It's alright, we don't need the wowie or the zowie. Tim Tams are $9. That is expensive. <laughs> I can get them for three Australian dollars, which is like about $2 American, something like that. But that's because they're made here. The thing is, the a lot of Australian celebrities went on talk shows and talked them up, so they are quite like a, a cult thing. Interesting. There should be- oh no, but I can't go back. Alright, that's fine. Party's just getting started. Oh, this still, this still keeps going. Would I say they're worth it? For nine bucks? I mean, trying them once and doing the Tim Tam Slime, sure. But it's a bit of a luxury. Whoa! That's cool. <laughs> Mama mia! <laughs> oh, this is great. This just reminds you of, like, Mario Land a little, except the rotation. This just reminds you of the space level. It's a fancy, it's a fancy water stage, let's face it. Oh no! Getting kind of dizzy! Is Luigi holding his breath? <laughs> He's holding his breath. Whoa. Hey. 
<laughs> Even he's like, hey! Bye. Looks like the closest food store that hasn't been stocked is Connecticut. Damn. Yeah, I mean, they are popular. I'm falling! It's to the point where, like, I've heard friends that send them overseas, they get stolen. <laughs> when they get to customs. Like, that's... that's the extent. Oh. Again. Ah. Well... There was a tunnel that I... well, to the right. I mean, left. Oh, yeah. Might have to do this again. An hour and 43 minutes away. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't drive an hour and 43 minutes for 10 times, but then, again, I have them readily available. If you had something else to do... Yippee! I would get the chicken salt before you get... <laughs> Chicken salt's the other thing. Like, the thing- okay. Here's my Australian things that you should try. Alright? Tim Tams, Bundaberg ginger beer. Wow, um, chicken salt. Whoa. And, uh, hang on. Fairy bread, which is something you can make. Oh. Hey. Fairy bread is- is good. Yes, fairy bread. That's the quintessential Australian child thing. <laughs> when you're in school and you have a birthday on a school day, uh, they'll make fairy bread, typically. What? We've talked about this before, yeah. And so far, the two people that have tried it, they were skeptical at first, but they were like, oh man, this thing is amazing, what the hell? I'll say it again. So... All fairy bread is, you get white bread, preferably thick cut. Get some white bread, thick cut. You get... Now, we call it margarine, but it's like vegetable shortening that's canola based. So, it's spreadable... Spreadable vegetable shortening that is canola based, whatever you might call that. Get some of that. Then... You spread that onto your slice of bread, and you do it not as much as you would peanut butter, but like about that, right? It's not too thick, not too thin, just a good amount. More than you would if you were buttering bread, less than you would if you were putting peanut butter. Then you get some sprinkles, and they have to be rainbow sprinkles. It's the important part. They have to be rainbow sprinkles. And you just douse the entire slice of bread in rainbow, rainbow sprinkles, and then you cut it into triangles. And then you eat it. Now, it might sound weird just doing the margarine thing in a thick manner and then putting sprinkles on it, but effectively what happens is it kind of... It kind of... For, when, you, when you eat it, it tastes like icing. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's like, it's a bootleg icing, and it's great. So, would recommend. It's also good for kids to make it, like, in schools they get kids to make it themselves, so. Those sprinkles. Well, so the sprinkles, we call them hundreds and thousands. Um, but, you know, they're just rainbow sprinkles. As long as they're just colored, right? They're not like chocolate sprinkles, because that doesn't have the same effect. It has to be something that's effectively colored sugar. <laughs> that's, that's basically it. If it's colored sugar and it comes in multiple colors, that's all you need. I mean, the sprinkles we have aren't hard, let's put it that way. They're, they're pretty thin and 
They're not chewy. If you look up hundreds and thousands, um, you'll find Thank you. what they look like. So let's like a look at like a picture in the clip. Oh, it's a link. Wait, why? That's weird. It's broken. The link that I put is broken. I know, but there it is. Yeah. Hundreds and thousands. What's that? But it is very magical. You can do chocolate sprinkles as well. Like, I've, I've seen people do it. But the rainbow ones are more, uh, more common. Doesn't say anything about butter. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what is- Whoa, whoa, what is this? Go for it. <laughs> oh, damn, this is like- Okay, this is gonna take some getting used to. The chocolate sprinkles are common in the Netherlands. Oh, gotcha. You can find them here as well. They're pretty readily available. This is when it comes to fairy bread. Um, well, fairy bread is more popular. Oh my god, this is hard. Alright, I'm getting it that way. <laughs> I know, I know. This is... Interesting. <laughs> oh. Please. <laughs> yeah, good. If you don't jump in time, you just fall. Oh, come on. This is a hundred percent of timing thing. Anyway, those are my recommendations for Australian things. Vegemite does not make the list. I mean, the uh, the cheese and bacon Cheetos are good too, but they're not on the same tier as uh, as the other stuff I mentioned. You tried the Hagel slug. It's Nutella, but just different consistency. Gotcha. You don't not like Nutella, really? Why don't you? Why don't you like about it? All right. Too sweet. The flavor. <laughs> you like chocolate and hazelnuts, but not Nutella, huh? Yeah. I mean, that's understandable. The flavor tastes weird. Yeah, fair enough. Ooh, it's a hard stage. Here we go. Pipe Rock Plateau Special Bounce Bounce. <laughs> this, this sounds like a Japanese game show. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I've already fucked it up. Oh, I see. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah! <laughs> See you later. See you it's only because you got a new CD equivalent you have here. Oh, so it's not Nutella brand then. I guess that makes sense. If you're used to the equivalent. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, so, you know, when it comes to chocolate, for example, I talked about this, but like, you know, Cadbury is just so, so good when you compare it to Nestle. Like, I, I find that Nestle equivalents, they're just nowhere near as good. They just have this weird flavor to them. I can't put my finger on it, but... Like, you could have two identical flavors, but I'll pick the Cadbury one every time. Because it's just it's a lot better. Oh boy. <laughs> you dick! Okay. Oh, this, this level is going to give me grief. Cadbury is good, but you grew up on Hershey's. Okay. I've had Hershey's. Hershey's is, I would rate, higher than Nestle. But Cadbury's still, at least in terms of the supermarket chocolates, the best. But when you jump into, like, fancy ones, no. They are better. It's interesting how they didn't make this cap that overpowered in the stage. Like, it's useful, but nowhere near as useful as I thought it would be. Hershey's is everywhere. It is. It actually never used to be that common here in Australia. It's probably in the last 10, 15 years that it became more popular. But it was something that you would have to go to, like, a specialty store to find. <laughs> this is pretty much, like, get good. You have to keep equilibrium. <laughs> oh yes, this this is what happens to me when I play platformers, it's just... Like, I don't know. Don't like bitter chocolate, so you don't like jo dark chocolate. I mean, chocolate, if you go by its origins, it's supposed to be bitter. Milk chocolate is a bit of a, like... Scaling down of what chocolate is. But I do like milk chocolate more than dark chocolate. But for the purist, it, it's the dark chocolate that's closest to what it's supposed to be. Way to go. That was rough. I can't believe I messed it up at the end. What have I done? I'm, can I fix this? I don't think I can fix this. Okay, it's fine. You can like dark too, but then you become snobby about it. Well, is it personal preference or do you straight up, like, just say, just trash talk dark chocolate? Because then it's snobby. But if it's just enjoyment, that's not snobby. But if you say, like, you know, milk chocolate is the superior choice, and, uh... 
everyone else is just a filthy casual that enjoys dark chocolate, then, well, that's a bit snobbish. So do I have- oh no, there's the tick, yep, tick, so that's done. This doesn't have a tick, so something's missing here. Royal seed, man. Okay, let me go to the store. No, I did buy it. That's the only one that doesn't have a tick. Well, you're back. I didn't expect that. Perhaps you wish to take even more challenging trials. Is that it? Well, then, I open a legendary secret path. Ah, ha, ha. He's gone again. Uh. There you go. I, I like white chocolate. Especially if it has bits of cookie in it. And this will go to special stage now. Okay, so I need to assume there's one special stage per thing. Hi. Is this 1-1? One, one? Oh my god, this is 1-1. One, one. <laughs> but it's like... Oh, no. Okay. I mean, it's kind of 1-1, one, one, not really. The start of it was 1-1. One, one. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that pinball bump. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, this is cursed. Great. Oh boy. I don't like this one bit. I've missed one. We'll have to do this again. I was too distracted by the the fact that I was doing one one. That false sense of security, and then oh my god, it takes out everything. Bye. Quickly, quickly before they do anything. Wow, this is annoying. But I got the feeling the coin is here. This is so spooky. this coin. That is not here. Yeah. 
Like, this does nothing. This doesn't help me in the slightest. Oh, that's where the coin is. Get the coin! Ah! <laughs> okay, it's gonna go to the right. <sighs> Hi. That's because this feels like 1-1. One, one. That's... Okay. Go. Go, Weege. Go. Okay, so... Don't hesitate, just go. was worth it. That was close. The, the required six. Oh boy. <laughs> Semi final test piranha plant reprise. Five star difficulty. Oh no. Prepare thyself. I feel like such an asshole. <laughs> oh no, it woke up. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't think it would wake up. They're just trying to sing a happy song. Ugh. And I'm being an idiot.
You have to really think about it. Oh no, it gets quicker. Oh no! Luigi! This is insane. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh no! <laughs> I kind of want to do it this Like, I could go get a fire flower and it would be trivial, but I kind of want to win this way. Jeez, that's... That's awfully, uh... I just want to punish myself, that's all. I can probably do this being a pacifist. Maybe not with the bullet bills, but at the very least, everything else. Oh my god. That was way too greedy of me. I don't get any reward! <laughs> <laughs> Am I insistent? <laughs> I don't get a reward for this. Like, this is just... A sense of satisfaction. Don't do the stage easy. Make yourself suffer. Yes. <laughs> Challenge the player. I don't know, I do a bad Luigi. <laughs> The only thing I know is that Luigi likes watching Yoshi lay eggs! Oh yeah! I mean, you might think Wario is, like, very gruff and at times perverted, but... Yeah, at least didn't, you know... Just... Get super excited about Yoshi laying eggs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. I am more of a warrior. On the topic of Wario, I've heard I've heard the new the new Wario voice. They've shown clips of it now, properly for WarioWare, and it just I'm sure it'll take getting used to, but. It just doesn't sound right. Like, the new Mario and Luigi voice sounds good. It sounds... You can definitely tell there's a difference, but it's more or less in the spirit of what it was. But the new Warrior voice, I don't know. It's just lost that gruff edge. You know? I want to show them how it's done. Well, my Warrior voice 
you could tell it was Warrior, but it wasn't exactly accurate to Charles Martinet's one. Like, Charles Martinet's one is a little... It's not as, as gruff as mine. Should have auditioned. I didn't know they were replacing the voice. But it, it just doesn't sound right to me. I don't know. And this isn't... Ugh! And this isn't... This isn't just me... ...saying that because it's not Charles anymore. Not at all. It's just... When you compare the new Mario voices... ...and Luigi voices to the new Wario voice, it's just not in the same caliber. You barely heard the original I Am Warrior. <laughs> oh no. I'm going to go get the Fire Flower, I swear. Not that it guarantees... ...success, but at the very least... ...it makes some parts easier. I can't do much voice acting. Like I have I have three voices, that's basically it. That aren't just a variety of Australian accents. <laughs> oh, crap. Voice actor slash sound effects. <laughs> I okay, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Stop, stop. Focus. Focus. Okay, Nick Day is saying you come with sound effects and that you can't help it. And then Coloran's like, your sister was going to make a shit for you saying that and then thought about it and decided it wasn't appropriate. Well, I guess it depends if people's mind is in the gutter. Like that, yeah. I mean, you can make any- you can make anything sexual. We've talked about this before, like, you wanna sound like a creep? Just do what the comedian Dimitri Martin said. Just add on the word ladies to the end of your sentence. 
makes a completely normal sentence just sound dirty. Excuse me, do you have the time? Ladies. Do you like my gameplay? Ladies. So it just sound like a creep. Uh oh. That's fine. Okay, see, you can't be a pacif pacifist there. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what am I supposed to do that? <laughs> Not the reaction I was hoping for. I was hoping for a reaction. Oh wow. There was a wowie zowie the whole time. How's this better though? Oh, I guess I can. Yeah, okay. I see. I can yeet, yeah. I mean, I'll try not to. Saving it for Friday? Saving what for Friday? <laughs> Wait, what? Geeting? my best here. Yeah. I may have missed some of that because I just can't focus on anything else right now. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah. That was so stressful. Watching more health kitchen. No, I didn't say so. What I said was like, can watch any day, it's just the easier day is Friday or Saturday, but that doesn't rule out the other days. It's just more of a I have to use more discretion the other days in terms of how late I'm up. Whenever more than two, exactly, and someone mentions it. Weekends that I have to go to bed early. Not too early, but just... As long as I'm functional. Like, you know, I'm not- I'm, I'm not generally winding down for a while, so... Am I functional? Yeah. I mean, I had a busy day, but I did get a lot of sleep. It's more of a, I don't think I could do it back to back. But I get the feeling I have to get each of these purple things in order to get the coin. Alright, well now we're, we're playing dirty. Yeah. 
Oh boy, what is going on? Yeah, oh, he, wow, he's out. Uh -huh. No. Nah. Yeah, I just, I mean, I, I'd watch some. We'll see. <laughs> Let me get through this madness. Yeah, I've had to, like, scramble the past couple of days. But, um, I have to, like, swap apartments. <laughs> In, to cut a long story short, and I've had to, like, organize that shit the past couple of days, and it's been just a little annoying. But it's all sorted now. Well, up until the part where I have to swap apartments, but... The actual swapping of apartments, that's the only thing that's left. I have to change because they're we're going to sell the ones that I'm in and it's pretty much uncertain if uh, like they're gonna continue renting the, it out it's like it's a 50 50 chance but I was talking to the guy and it's just like it's unlikely I'm like all right well wow, instead of dealing with the stress of being told hey can't rent it anymore, just was like, all right. I also did find one that has a little bit more room, so there's, there's an upside to it. Not a large amount, but at the very least in the room where I'll set all this shit up, it's gonna have a little more room. It won't be soundproof anymore? Yeah, well. It's foam. I just attached it using 3M stuff. I just gotta get replacement 3M tags. That's it. Yeah. They have Velcro on the back, so... I, I was smart. I, I planned ahead. Nope. When am I moving? In the next month. So it's a while away, but yeah. Something definitely did not expect. And I figure, sort it out now instead of waiting around and... Flipping a coin, it's just like... It'll be way worse if I wait, so... Dealt with that right away. That's good, moving sucks though. Yeah, it does. Don't get me wrong, like, even though I am gonna get a little more space, it's just, it's an annoying process that I have to do, but it is what it is. I mean, I've been here for like, five years. Yep, there it is. No more soundproof bedroom. My bedroom was never soundproof. Why would I want to soundproof my bedroom? I gotta put the computer in the room. No, no, no. That's a separate room. There's not enough room in the bedroom to do that. Nice job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
TV in the bedroom. I already got a TV in the bedroom. The problem is more of just uh, the bedroom TV can't hook into the thing that's required to allow Australians to view content that I will not mention here. <laughs> As apparently it's... Ooh. Does this keep going up? One thing I can do is maybe put a couch in the in the room where the computer is. That is just about as good. Because the problem I have here is just I'm in a chair. And whilst this chair is good, at a certain point I just want to lie down. So, maybe that. I'll figure it out. So, did I get everything from World War? Like, this has been quite the detour. No, I did. Okay. And that's all. Alright. Completionism be damned. <laughs> so, how about we check out something from this world? Oh, what the hell? A ninji. Jump party. Jump in time with the rhythm. Oh, crap. One. Oh, boy. Okay. This is kind of fun. Oh. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. I don't think there's any reward for doing this. I oh, know there is. I, I'm good, aren't I? One, two, three. One. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at them dance. I wonder if you get something special. So you can't keep it up forever. Pretty fun stage. Oh. Oh, yeah.
I like how they dance. Rhythm jump badge. No. You can hear it, it's like a club. What's that about club? Listen, when you get to the door, you tell them Dave's list, okay? You talk to the guard behind the waterfall of sand. Yeah? You tell him Dave sent you, and you get one dollar off entry. You take that dollar, and you use it to get a discounted drink on Dave. It's exclusive because we're friends. No one, just, no, not everyone can use my list. Only my best friends can. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. It's an interesting take on tumbleweeds. Oh, even even this. <laughs> it's just <laughs> Oh man, the Goombas that they're, they're so non-threatening in this game, like they're not really doing much, they're just chilling, sleeping, and it just <laughs> obliterate them. And the animations they've added for that is so good. I really hope that what they've done with this, they bring back, bring back Warrior Land and just give it this treatment. Make a Warrior game where it's just super expressive, you know? I, I just, I, I appreciate WarioWare, but like, we've been relegated to just having Wario appear in WarioWare games. And just whatever he appears as a playable character and say, like, Mario Kart. What is going on? Oh. Don't think Wario is popular enough for this treatment. You'd be surprised, like, for portables, Wario outdid Mario. And for a while, Wario uh, was the only one that got games on the Game Boy. They stopped making Mario games on the Game Boy for a while, like, new ones, anyway. They did, uh, re-releases, but yeah, like, after Mario Land 2, there was, n there was no portable Mario. For a while. The next time there was a new Mario Brothers was new Super Mario Brothers for the DS. This isn't me just liking the character, like, he was genuinely popular, it's just, in the Wii era, it fell off because of, uh, just WarioWare Shake It. It just didn't do as well, and it's for a multitude of reasons, but I'd like to think one of them was just, it went too heavy on the motion controls. War so, this is my story of how I came to know Wario, right? Like, he existed in games before the first game I played. But the way I learnt about him as a character... So... We had the original three Mario games, and then my cousin had Super Mario World. Right? Those were the only Mario games I knew, and thought to exist. And then one day, my uncle comes over, and he has a Game Boy. And he had Mario Land on it, and I'm like, Mario Land? It kind of blew me away, because I was like, wait, there are other Mario games that I didn't hear of? And so for a while, like, me and my brother, whenever we went for rentals, we just tried to find new Mario games. And then when we got our own Super Nintendo, we got uh, Yoshi's Island. But that wasn't really a Mario game, but we accepted it, right? Uh, eventually, 
got a Game Boy, what, um, got Pokemon, eventually wanted a new game for it. And so, you know, in my mind, I'm like, I want a new Mario game. Yes, like the Mario History one, exactly. We got bamboozled into renting that one. But let's just put that aside for a sec. Um, so I was like, I want, an, I want a new Mario game. And at the time, the game that was out was Super Mario Land 3. Only Super Mario Land 3 was Super Mario Land 3 Warrior Land. So I get this game thinking it's a Mario game, and then when I start playing it, I'm like, hmm, that's weird. This, I'm playing as some other dude, why? And I was so confused. With Yoshi's Island, they did the same thing. They called it Super Mario World 2, but realistically, that game was Yoshi's Island. It was its own thing. But I loved that game, and I accepted it. I thought it was a prequel. But with Wario, it was just so weird. It was just... This... This dude that was just completely different to Mario. And it didn't make any sense. But then when I started playing the game and just saw how ridiculous he was, like, I fell in love with the character. <laughs> just... So, I enjoyed Mario Land, uh, Warrior Land 1 so much that I was like, I want to find more Warrior games, and then Warrior Land 2. That was the next game I got for the Game Boy. And that one was even more absurd. I love Warrior Land 2. And, yeah, then hearing him and his voice on the Nintendo 64... I was like, okay, I like, I like this, this character's energy. And it only got better when, um, I saw him in WarioWare and just how absurd he acted. Oh. But, I, I thought he was like a bootleg Mario, like a fake Mario originally. I had no idea who he was. Oh, yeah. oh and then Mario Party? Oh man, that was great. And that's, that's what started the whole thing of me doing Wario's voice, was just... When I would pick him in Mario Party, I'd be like, oh yes! <laughs> it started with that, and then eventually... I got good enough to say whatever the fuck I want in, in that kind of voice. Him and Waluigi thought they were the same for a while. I did not understand Waluigi. Wario I understood because it was like, upside down M. That made sense. But Waluigi is like, what the fuck is a backwards L? Like, that upside down L, that makes no sense. I thought it was lazy. <laughs> They're not even related, like, do you know the story of Waluigi, what it is? How he knows Wario. This is the story. They're not related. So... Basically, Wario needed a partner for tennis. In Mario Tennis. And so... He came across a dude <laughs> that was inverse Luigi. And... That's... That's how Wild Luigi came to be. But no relation, no long-term friendship. It's just, oh, there's a tennis match. Oh, look at this dude. Kind of looks like Luigi. I can use him to fight against Mario. Whereas in Wario has been childhood friends with Mario. That's the lore. Just, Wario is the, uh, I guess the annoying childhood friend for Mario. Didn't he date Daisy too? Who? Oh. Oh. Waluigi or Wario? Oh, wow. oh. That I'm not sure of. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Yes. Waluigi. Not sure. Maybe. Look it up. Ah. Ah. Yeah. 
That'll be a, a new useless piece of lore that I know. Waluigi date. Luigi Day Daisy. Let's see if anything comes up. What the fuck? One time Waluigi disguised himself as Luigi and asked Daisy on a date. She and Waluigi kissed and she got mad when she saw the real Luigi come back. <laughs> what the fuck? When did that happen? Okay, so in Mario Part in Mario Party 5, that's where that comes comes from. They get called the awkward date, so that implies there's history between the two. Yeah, so it's from Mario Party 5. I didn't know that. I didn't play that one. There you go. The on the only other thing that I hate that I know, and I don't know the specifics of it, but like. This is just the internet being bad, and just ruining people. But when... What Mario Tennis was it? I think it was the Wii Mario Tennis. But based on the di based on one of the pictures of Luigi, because Luigi had a bulge, can you guess what the internet did? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. They figured something out based on... The proportion of the tennis racket handle and the, uh, the bulge. Figuring out the average size of a tennis racket handle. <laughs> Just... Oh, yeah. oh, man. So, it's like, canonically, they figured out uh, a particular size on Luigi. Ah, oh dear. I should probably stop. Yeah. Let's see this. A lot of people have time on their hands, yeah. Hang on, I want that back. I've shown the image on stream before. I don't think I still have it. But it is, it is insane. Let me see. This might have been like another computer ago. Oh my god, I still have the image. <laughs> okay, it's perfectly innocent, however... I refer you to this diagram. Yeah, internet detectives. Just <laughs> what you gonna pick? In case in case you were wondering. I, I know you were. Tough choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are these things? Oh. Whoa. Oh. I, uh, I mean, I didn't know that that's how you kill those things. What you gonna do? I'll stick with what I have. This is not easy. Okay. Elephant's the key.
not fair. I don't know if I can make this. It's four floors, not three. Oh boy, there are some hidden. Childhood nemesis. I hated these things as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good image. Okay. Alright, I think that's a good stopping point for today. I have done a lot of stages, but... We'll pick this up tomorrow. I want to do more of this tomorrow. So, if you have reached the end here on YouTube, thanks for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed. And if you want to support the channel, easiest way to do so is click one of those buttons. Particularly the ones that have a thumbs up on them. It does help out a lot, so thank you to those that do do that. Or if you want to watch me do something else, just click one of the two some thumbnail thingies that have popped up on your screen as well. But yeah, we'll continue this next time. Alright. Bye, YouTube.